As the Israel-Hamas war continues, what's happening abroad is affecting many right here at home. Some Central Texans, in fact, with ties to Israel, are doing their part to raise awareness. Here's KVU's Isabella Basco. Grief-stricken and devastated, but determined. That's how Ariella, an Israeli citizen living in Austin, describes the sentiments of her community. With two brothers fighting in Israel on reserve duty, she and this Israeli group of women consider it their mission to fight for this cause. These posters have been hung up anywhere and everywhere um, in the public eye. Um, you can look it up, it's, it's worldwide. It's spread like wildfire. They've joined a global campaign called Bring Them Home, which demands hostages kidnapped by Hamas be returned. They've printed posters with pictures of those missing and hang them in public places like parks, parking lots, and gas stations all over central Texas cities. To see these kind of acts of just pure hate, you can't stay indifferent to this kind of thing. You'll meet an Israeli person, you'll meet a broken person. So hard, you know, we have kids the same. Two years old girl, two years old girl. Some of the posters bear the faces and names of Israelis with ties to central Texans. Aviva Sher, her sister Roz, and their mother Daron are related to Leander resident, Dory Roberts, who discovered they were captured through TikTok. <laughs> Gal, another Israeli who lives in Cedar Park, makes it clear. Her home may be in Texas, but another part of her heart will keep hurting for Israel. We will never, ever really recover from this. And it's still ongoing. And these people are still alive. And they need to come home now. In Cedar Park, Isabella Basco for KVU News. The Israeli military has said that at least 199 hostages were taken into Gaza, while Hamas has said it was holding 200 to 250 hostages, including foreigners.